I'm going to do it on my favorite thing, water. I love my water. You can like hardly ever find me without it. Um, I used to carry around a Nalgene bottle and Nalgene and something happened to it. I don't know what, but um, I used to carry that around and try to make sure I could drink two of those. And now I try to make sure I drink more than one of the a uh, half of one of these sometimes I'll drink a whole one of these in a day just because it's so good and it makes you feel so good anyways water's really good for you it's really important it makes up 60 percent of your body weight and it without it we would not function it's more important than food for our body to function so it's nothing to be overlooked or to not try to get into your diet as much as possible. And um, I'm holding this like a baby on my lap. But um, it, I'm not going to really talk about like qualities of water. I think really like that's up to you. But the only thing I will say is read your water report and see what you might have to be concerned with when it comes to drinking your tap water. I really don't trust a lot of over-the-counter stuff. I just don't believe that um, our, you know, consumer feedback and our government protection agencies taking care of our need for high quality and safe products. So try to research and read where your water comes from. I usually try to find one that's like a, a local and it says where the water comes from. This one's purified and spring water is spring water and there's no real knowing like how good it is. I guess sometimes you can just taste it if it's good or not. And if you leave your plastic bottles in the car, they're going to taste nasty and they're going to be full of all kinds of chemicals from the plastic. So make sure you keep your water refrigerated. So what else do I have to say about water? I want you to get water as much as you can. And it's really important that you do drink water and don't be afraid of it. Um, water is responsible for your brain functioning it's responsible for your body to move things through your um, circulatory system and through your lymphatic system and your muscular system as well the interstitial fluid between your muscles being a massage therapist I um, have read extensively on this but there are all kinds of toxins that build in, in your body whenever you use your muscles and if you're not properly hydrated they're going to get all clogged up in there and stuff's going to quit working you're going to get mineral build up in in places like your kidneys which is no good those kidney stones are very 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 painful i've had one before so Drink your water, it's so important. It'll make you more alert, make you feel better. And I know I am have way more energy and feel better when I'm drinking water. And my mouth feels cleaner. Drinking water as opposed to sugary beverages or acidic beverages like coffee is great for your teeth. And it's great to cleanse the palate. It's also great to cleanse the inside of your digestive system and to keep your intestines healthy and clean is just as much as fiber it's important to drink water especially on an empty stomach will help to clean your intestines and you'll be be more able to digest your food and to you for your body to use the nutrients from your food and you'll all over just be a healthier person and you won't get urinary tract infections which also really are no fun at all so there are about a million ways to tell um, to get enough water and a million ways to tell not a million like maybe three that I can tell you about that to tell how much water you're drinking and um, 
just kind of a number to go towards and there's a few rules that I want to tell you about and then I also want to just give you some tips on how to get more water into your diet. Um, number one, you can do the eight glasses of water um, and eight ounces of eight ounces of eight glasses. Wait, eight glasses that are eight ounces each into your diet per day is a pretty good idea. It's a pretty good suggestion, and it's it's pretty much our you know the way we all decide or have been taught growing up. So me personally, I use for a while the rule that you should take your body weight and cut it in half and that will be how many ounces of water a day you should drink. So if I weigh 170 pounds and I cut it in half, that is um, 85 ounces. So going by that rule, eight ounces, um, eight times a day is not sufficient going by that. So um, I just play it safe and go by the larger amount. Another way to tell is if you go to the bathroom, which I know we all do, hopefully we all go to the bathroom, and you look at the toilet and you just to check and make sure, you know, everything came out okay or that everything flushed down. And if it's clear, that's a good sign. Now the Mayo Clinic tells us that we should produce 1.5 liters per day, which is about six cups of clear urine. So um, you might want to take a wet measuring cup into the bathroom with you and just see how much you peed. No, I'm kidding. Don't do that. Just if you're a guy, like look at your urine stream, kind of estimate and just think about it or don't think about it, but that at least gives you an idea. For me, I probably have to only pee once because I pee a lot when I do pee. <laughs> but um, that'll give you a good idea. And um, another, I don't have any other ways. Another way is if you have to pee like all the time, that's a good sign you're drinking enough water. So moving on to our next topic. If um, you want to get more water into your body per day, I would always get in the habit of creating a positive habit of drinking a glass of water every day. So um, when you wake up and maybe taking a supplement or something that with your vitamins, maybe getting a second glass of vitamins or, or taking a second glass with your normal um, water intake. You don't want to just drink it all at once. Like if I drank this all at once, my body would not absorb it properly. Um, a lot of it would just get wasted or, um, you know, you wouldn't, it, it's not a very balanced way to get your water. So you want to um, increase your water containing foods we get 20% of our water from our food. So if you want to eat more apples, watermelon, cantaloupes, grapes, um, celery, cucumbers are wonderful. Um, oranges, grapefruit, just the list goes on and on of wonderful foods to choose as snacks and that will increase your water intake as well. Um, and oh yeah i knew there was something else reduce um your alcohol intake or reduce your caffeine intake if you cannot get that clear urine during the day for a consistent period of time then you probably are drinking more caffeine or alcohol than you should um maybe i don't know i'm not saying probably but if you do then you're gonna want to drink one or, or two glasses of water per drink, uh, caffeinated or alcoholic drink. So drink water at least the same amount, up to two glasses more of water per alcoholic drink or per caffeinated drink. Um, if you exercise and you sweat, pay attention to how much you sweat 
because that means that you have to replace that. So you have to drink more water. Um, singing, breathing, heavy while, while exercising, and sweating at the same time. So you basically want to replace that by, um, if you sweat a cup of fluid, you might want to replace that twofold because you're breathing out um, the same amount of water. So, and your muscles probably need it. And um, so I hope this helped you and I hope that you feel great whenever you drink your water and it gives you lots of energy. And just one more thing to focus on. I am going to be doing these videos at night before bed from now on because I think I just have more concentration and I'm a procrastinator and it just works for me. So I'll see you tomorrow night and I hope you have a wonderful day tomorrow and stay hydrated. Take care.